Now, most of the people who are in fact gathered here have gathered for change. Many of them feel that they want to be the change that they want to see. And that is why after assessing or talking to most of the people, Times Now was able to put out five suggestions, five things that can immediately be done to bring about change. The death of India's brave heart shaking the conscience of an entire nation. The demand to bring her perpetrators to justice resonating across the country. Shaming the political class, forcing it out of its slumber. The government is committed to seek the severest deterrent punishment for all the accused at the earliest. On the basis of your overwhelming response to our campaign for justice, Times Now is putting out a five-point solution to curb the rising incidence of rape. Step number one, make rape a non-bailable offence because many accused tend to apply for bail successfully citing the delay and long trials in rape cases. Point number two, attempt to rape does not find a separate place. There should be a separate law for cases related to failed attempt to rape and a fast track separate court for each of these cases. Point number three, picking up from the American example, all sex offenders in India must be made to compulsorily enroll and register and there should be a weekly or monthly review of their track record even when they are out of prison. The fourth and very specific point I'd like to make is all political parties in India must publicly come out and directly take on the cup panchayats. The focus now firmly on implementing changes that are long due. Justice requires that punishment must retain its deterrent effect. The moment justice ceases to be swift, punishment loses all its deterrent effect. You need uh, a legal regime, a quick disposal judicial process, a quick investigative process, and above all, a very alert and a conscious society that doesn't allow these incidents to pass the way they have passed. Parliament has to commit itself to laws which will permit and allow and enable women to take back the public space without fear of being sexually harassed in public places. Five simple steps which can be implemented only if the political class exercises its will. How long will we the citizen have to wait to see timely justice to victims of such heinous crimes? Bureau report, Times Now. I want to I want to ask Dr. Sunita Krishnan. She's founder of Prajwala and NGO. She has been a victim of the worst form of sexual violence herself. Dr. Krishnan, you're joining us from Kochi. First of all, I thank you for coming. Uh, I want to know what you think at this ongoing national debate, having been a victim yourself and having come out of it so strongly. Right now, Arnab, I'm feeling sickened. I find this whole damn discussion itself sickening. For the last 20 minutes, we've been just bashing each other up, blame games, and a whole lot of I'm good, I have done this, I want to do this. I think what the whole public today is showing is enough of platitudes. That's whether great. it is by the media, whether it is by authors, whether it is by filmmakers, or whether it is by the damn politicians. We want action. I was gang raped 25 years back and for the last 20 years I've been fighting for fighting against sexual violence, against sex trafficking. I've heard enough of platitudes. Enough is enough. Let's at least make the next 20 minutes discuss about how are we going to straighten things out. We don't want to know who is bad and who is worst. Today the world has shown that we don't care a damn for you all. Very true. What we need is what can we do now? Tomorrow, what do we need to start? Because if today violence has to such astonishing proportions, all of us are also responsible for it. Our silence, our inaction, our complacence. Who are these politicians, by, way, by the way? We have elected them. 
which only shows what kind of people, what caliber of people we are making them sit. If a Bhutsa Satyanarayana from Andhra hmm. Pradesh says, why did that woman climb up in the bus <coughs> yeah. tonight? If a DGP in Andhra Pradesh says, women wear, and you know, outrageous clothes, that's why they get raped. We need to start questioning ourselves, where are we today? You know, it, for me, as, as a survivor of rape, I, I, as a human being, as an activist, at one end, I'm, I'm so energized by the fact that there is at least now an uh, outrage. After 20 years, today I'm seeing India awakening against sexual violence. But I have my own reservations. Whether this is just one more wonderful way to show, you know, like India against corruption, today India against sexual violence. But after the story dies out, will we still think of all those children, all those women who are getting ev raped every minute by the day? And that is the question I want to ask each of the panelists. Well, Can we think about yeah. what we need to do now? Yeah, well, I think that, I mean, you know, one, two, there are two things. The one thing we, we need to do is to keep a consistent focus on the issue in the media. So that's, that's one point which I would say. The media Absolutely. needs to keep a consistent focus on it and not bury it. Anna. I hope you agree with me on that, Dr. Krishnan, because that is one thing that the media can do. The media, yes, Anna. it's not to be buried in the inside pages. But uh, Mohandas Pai wants but to add... Know, we need Anna. to create deliverables, Arnab. Yeah, agree. What do we need to keep Anna. alive on? Yeah. You know, Anna. is it stories or do we create deliverables? Anna. Can we create a say an accountability for the political system? Say media will lobby till the sexual offence bill is passed. Media will lobby till each politician hands Absolutely. over at least two of his security guards back to the government, so that women and children in the country have safety. Oh, yes. If the women and children in the country have no safety, no bloody politician deserves safety. Can we decide on those kind of lobbying points and deliver them? Well, well spoken. Well spoken. And you speak, you speak on behalf of all of us. Let me tell you, your voice has that much more power because of what you experienced yourself. Dr. Krishnan, I am completely moved. And I, I think in every word of yours, I would like to express my support. While many citizens came out on the streets of not just Delhi but all over the country in solidarity of the 23-year-old gang rape victim, students of the Jawaharlal Nehru University queued up, formed a line and went to that very bus stand from where the 23-year-old gang rape victim took a bus. That bus journey that went on to become her last bus journey in which a brutal gang rape took place. A pall of gloom descending in the capital after the Delhi gang rape victim passed away. And mourners expressing their solidarity by marching from Jawaharlal Nehru University to the bus stop from where the victim had boarded the bus. The cause of national awakening is that what people in fact have claimed here on a long walk of about 3 to 4 kilometers from JNU to this very bus stop which has in fact now become a center of this protest of commemoration, of condolence, a very calm protest. I don't have words to describe the grief that we all, the community in JNU is facing and the people in general. If there are 1 lakh cases pending, the rate of conviction is so low, this girl has become a symbol of that entire malaise. The aggrieved citizens calling for the anger and emotions to be put on hold. Delhi citizens pledging to adopt a zero tolerance policy towards sex offenders. हम ये रिजॉल्व और प्लेज ले रहे हैं कि हम तुम्हें भूलेंगे नहीं और हम ये संघर्ष जारी रखेंगे। हम लोग सोचते हैं कि अब जब बलात्कार होगा तो उसके बाद एक और कैंडल मार्च निकाली जाएगी, एक और रैली निकाली जाएगी, एक दुबू में कटा होगा। उसका मौका हम क्यों ले रहे हैं? The girl might have lost the battle for life, but the citizens of this country will only stop when justice is achieved. Bureau Report, Times Now. 
her brave fight to live on for the past 15 days came to a tragic end today at the Mount Elizabeth Hospital in Singapore. But all these people who are in fact gathered here at Jantar Mantar are only celebrating perhaps in a way this amazing spirit in the 23-year-old gang rape victim to live on. And as a mark of a legacy or a tribute, most of these people want to remember this day as Black Saturday and also build that required amount of pressure on the government so that women are a lot more secure. Common man is asking for a change. Who Bangalore is awake? Why not full India? When will its mentality of the even the government will change? Welcome back to the live coverage here on Times Now. The reality in this country has changed. But have India's politicians changed with their growing sense of reality on the ground or have they become more and more distant from the reality on the ground? First, let me show you the pictures of Sheila Dixit being booed away from Jantar Mantar. She wanted a photo op. Obviously, as Chief Minister of Delhi, she felt that if there were pictures of her being welcomed at Jantar Mantar, it would work for her image. It had the opposite effect. And as we play those pictures of Sheila Dixit, the question is, why was she not allowed to go into Jantar Mantar here today? Why did the people at Jantar Mantar, who were there with candles, not lathis in the evening, not let Sheila Dixit carry out what was a straightforward political photo op? There is a message in that, that India's political class needs to think about. Politics will not be allowed, not over a tragedy. Why did Arvind Kejriwal on the other side go there, but without his Aam Admi cap? Is it a recognition even by Arvind Kejriwal that he too realizes, look, look at him there, I'll just show you some pictures of him sitting among the crowd, there was no cap this time, that he too realizes that the people of this country will not allow the politicization of any event. And that if even Arvind Kejriwal tries to go there as an Aam Admi Party leader, he has less credibility. If he goes there as a citizen, he has greater credibility. If you go with security men as a chief minister, you will not be allowed. If you go as a politician with a cap, you will not be allowed. And therefore, there is a great symbolism to what we are going to talk about. Through the entire evening, these protests became bigger and bigger. Even now, let me bring you the live pictures from uh, Jantar Mantar. There are so many people who are still assembled there. And through the entire evening, there were so many people. They simply are carrying candles in their hands, no lattes and with their progressive, disciplined, compassionate, sincere and heartfelt uh, protest today at Jantar Mantar, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Mumbai and everywhere, they have given a clear message out to our political class. Therefore, in this next one hour, we are going to talk about what the best tribute is, of course, to the Braveheart, but more than that about whether India's ruling class has lost touch with reality. Here are the headlines, this special Saturday night edition of News Hour. She was brutalized, gang rape, her body ripped apart. The 23-year-old Braveheart died fighting, showing more will and gumption than all of political India. She's not with us anymore, but we will continue to fight for her and the safety of every citizen in the country. The entire country is united in solidarity. Unprecedented, spontaneous response, India's message to the authorities. We are neither dented nor painted. And no, it's not fashionable. India is angry. India is very, very upset tonight. They hold the candle to those who continue to stay oblivious to the ground realities. Silent protests across India to send a strong message against police apathy and some politicians' unstoppable sexist mentality. She tried to squeeze out a last-minute political opportunity. She was booed away. Her attempt to draw political mileage nipped in the bud. Sheila Dixit is sent packing by an angry group of protesters at Jantar Mantar. And from making rape a non-bailable offence, to fast-track courts to speedy justice, to looking at examples from other countries, we are putting forth five concrete suggestions tonight. We want you to join the campaign.
So the question here is, has India's political class lost touch with its own people? And are the protests that have happened a symbol of how far removed the political class has become from the people? Can the political class do anger management anymore? Can they do crowd management, anger and management, and I hate to say this, media management anymore? Or will they have to come to terms with the fact that the media is only reflecting the reality on the ground? We have politicians, lawyers, columnists, a former police officer, a well-known entrepreneur, and someone who has been a victim of the worst kind of sexual violence, and who now heads an NGO called Prajwala. My question is to her first. First, let me do a very quick introduction. I think most of us know each other. Siddharth Nath Singh of the BJP, welcome. Pinaki Mishra, I wouldn't say represent the system, but you are part of the system as a BJD leader and a senior advocate. Welcome. Kamal Faruqi, it's good of you to come on the program from Hyderabad. Devesh Chandra Thakur, leader of the JDU. So we have the entire political spectrum of the country, literally. Gautam Kaul, ex Joint Commissioner Police in Delhi. Uh, Roshan Abbas, my friend, writer, director, uh, very outspoken a Mumbai citizen, Dr. Sunita Krishnan, she's founder of Prajwala, she has been a victim of the worst form of sexual violence herself, and today she leads an NGO of her own, she's joining us from our center in Kochi, Mohandas Pai, former director Infosys, one of India's leading entrepreneurs, Sohail Seth, managing partner of Councilage, and one of India's most free-thinking and outspoken citizens, Bachi Karkaria, well-known columnist of the Times of India, Shobha De, a very well-known author and columnist, Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a large number of people we have. Issue is big and we have more than ample time. Roshan, let me come to you first. These protests today went viral. Why did they go viral? No, because you know, as I've said that there is a that there is an anger which has been kept deep inside. Yes. Which which spilled onto the streets yes. earlier at India Gate. Yeah. And, and across the country and now you know when you get to know at 2.15 in the morning when you got to know we couldn't sleep it's it's like that I mean, you know, and when you can't when your conscience is pricking you when you're looking around and you're still looking for answers and I cannot believe this political class which divides itself on party lines they are voted in by people and the quickest people to forget people they just forget they're the quickest to forget and everyone I mean the other night everybody was party 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 that's all I heard what happened about the person? What, what do you mean by party, party, party? I mean their parties. They only talk party lines, whatever. Immediate they. political Yes, benefit. absolutely. And what happens is, here is the problem. So we have to come out. But the problem is that coming out, I, I, I wrote something which, which you know, many people started uh, uh, tweeting out or whatever. I said, man, lal battiyon ki gaadi se na, mumbattiyan nahi dikhti hai. They just stop seeing. Yeah, yeah that's they, true. They just don't see. And until an unless... Lal battiyon ki gaadi se mumbatti nahi dikhti. Mumbatti bhi dikhti hai. Or jab but aaj jo hai idhar mombatti itne dikh rahe the ki sol aathiya bhi nahi because 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 arnab you know chingariyan milke aag banati hai they have to come together there, there has to be it has to be more we'll say some one thing to you roshan you and i went to the same college you were there when mandal commission absolutely happened. we were on the road you were on the road I, and, and I think at that time students got divided on caste lines. I've been saying it again and again. Today students are united. They're setting the agenda. That's really? different. In 1990 students had the agenda set for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's you changed. Know, the, other, the other thing is that everybody here today is coming out saying, you know, and what happens? There's archaic views. Yeah. Just when the way read, somebody yeah. turning and saying, girls shouldn't wear skirts. Somebody from the BJP. But someone from do. Congress yeah. turns around and, and, you know, everybody is, every, as I said, there's the, trying to score a point. Forget it. No, but they're going to have to change their mindset because as I said day before yesterday, if you don't change your mindset, so here let me come to you next. If you don't change your mindset, the people of this country will force you to change your mindset. It's as simple as that. But Sohail, do you think it's going to happen? I think, I think, or no, we in India today live in the worst possible time. We have rulers, we don't have leaders. We have people who are lumpen, not inspirational. We have people who are petty, not large-hearted. We have people who believe that they can run amok because they've been elected. I mean, is this a democracy? It's a bloody shame. For politicians to remain silent, for them to stand behind their Latvian zone homes being guarded by platoons of people. I mean, this is a democracy. They've been elected by the people. Who the hell are they scared of? But the reason why they're scared is because the people are seeing through every move of theirs. 
They are seeing the dolts like Abhijit Mukherjee. They are seeing dolts like Kakoli Ghosh Dastidar. They are seeing the mockery and the brazenness of, of uh, the man of Rathore who perpetrated that horrific crime on Ruchika Gerotra. We've forgotten Aruna Shanbhak, yeah. who is still oh, in, yes. in a coma while the person who attempted that rape is gone free. Yes. The tragedy, Ornob, is, and I'm so delighted that you are doing what you are, because if the media moves its gaze from the issue and makes it a TRP issue or a day one issue and not following it up, these guys will continue to be insensitive. I am amazed that a Sonia Gandhi, a Rahul Gandhi, a Manmohan Singh, they haven't believed in coming out into the people. You know, today is almost in a Hindu manner of speaking the Theravi. It's almost the Theravi of this government. But to blame this government would be callous. We have to blame most of India's political class. Yeah. Because we have treated them like gods, but they are gods with feet of clay. They are nothing but what we make them to be. And the tragedy is we give them too much of Philip, we give them too much of credence, we don't question them, and we don't strike back. Today, India has struck back. Every Indian is willing to go into Jantar Mantar, say, I will not lift a finger, you try and lift a lati. Yep. You know, we are today back in the times of Mahatma Gandhi and no other Gandhi. We are back in the times of fortitude, of patience, of calmness, but more importantly, and there's only one Hindi word, of dhridta. That we will remain where we are, we will continue to do what we want to do, we will do it peacefully, we will do it in a disciplined manner, but we will do it with determination. It is this determination, Ornob, that India must stand and salute. We are finally well, getting a voice. The people whose voice was robbed by people in parliament, by people in legislatures, are finally getting their voice. I, and this voice can't be dimmed. It can't be dimmed, it, it will not be, be stifled. Choked. This is but, not but a voice. what about the politicians? And this is not a let voice. Me, yeah, let that me hear from the politicians. Stifle. It's the youth. Today they are engaged. No, let me hear from the politicians. What is it that makes politicians feel these are miss and blink opportunities? That you know, tomorrow it's miss and blink. Tomorrow it will be gone. We'll be back to square one and to our petty political games. Pinaki, you are a lawyer, and what more than importantly, you are a politician. Do you believe the political class which you represent today has got far, far removed from the reality on the ground? You know, most people today, Pinaki Mishra, have come on the streets because most people say, we have experienced this ourselves, if not us, then our daughters, our wives and our sisters. And we are afraid our daughters, wives and sisters will be affected by it if we don't come up. It's exactly the same response as the response to corruption, Pinaki Mishra. We experience corruption in some form or the other. How is the political class so indifferent, so completely indifferent? Anub, uh, much, if not all, that uh, either you said or Suhail has said or uh, Roshan has said or indeed many of the panelists have said all through the day today, which we've all been you know, obviously doing nothing but morning and watching television is unexceptionable, is largely true, uh, and therefore that's all I can say. I have no doubt in my mind that this is absolutely genuine, spontaneous anger which is being reflected. Yes, a large section of the political class, overwhelmingly large section of the political class, seems to be completely out of sync with uh, the current mood in reality. Uh, I, all I can say, Arnab, is some of us perhaps like straws in the wind, uh, you know, perhaps make some difference. I mean, you know, Sohel knows, uh, probably, you know, I don't live in, I mean, I'm a member of parliament, but I don't live in uh, Latin's uh, bungalow myself. No, it's not I about... I don't of government No, no, but, but Pinaki Mishra, it's, it's not about, it's not about whether you live, you know, you know, what, it's, not, it's, it's, it's about no, what, pe what people do. You see, since 2006, you have a legislation which is me pending, me me which is pending. Nothing has been done on it. I just said before I began the program, I said it took three days to pass a bill uh, to, you know, double or triple uh, salaries of members of parliament and the allowances. Three days it took in 2010. You don't give three hours properly for a debate like this. When when this case happened, one minute, let me complete. Um, when this case happened, Sudhatnath Singh, 
your political leaders also made their three minute speeches and made references to Zinda Lash, which I completely think is outrageous comment to make. But the fact of the matter is beyond that, nobody, you know, Sushma Swaraj said we should have a special session of parliament. Government said no, okay, move on. Why move on? Why move on? Had it had it been a promotion quota bill, would you have moved on? No, no, no. Not what has happened, it has saddened all of us. Do, you know, I know I've been watching your television and others also. Uh, we have spoken about uh, police reforms, judicial reforms, and I think there no. is one more reform which is required in today's world is in India is a political reform. Let me be honest, there is a lot on the accountability which lies with the politicians. You can say all politicians can be brushed with one uh, color, but it's not true. Maybe we are uh, a section of politicians no. which is in small numbers, but uh, do do be, please understand there is a need that the the those who are in small numbers they need to assert more. We need to move with the time. There is uh, an agenda which needs to sync with the current youth. What but India everything is, is, uh, is no no in India. everything we need is post fact. No, it's not. It's not rhetoric. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, that is the only individual, individual I know from my knowledge who came out with support. I, I, I would support. respect. I would. I would expect and respect the gentleman not to use these words like uh, rhetoric. There is. No, he said retrospect. I said retrospect. I didn't even say rhetoric. It seems that even when you are going to you will lose the faculty of. You know, understanding simple words that common people take. Please, uh, that's the please, problem. It the is problem is use, the please. problem I'm is so, I'm so party sorry. Or enough, I, parties I, I, hire please, please, parties Mr. hire Mr. intellectuals Mr. to go and book Can I the have request you for the gentleman no, to allow us? No, to because your problem is you all come out. No things happen. No, to first spout platitudes and do nothing. If you believe in something yes. and you're saying that needs to be a change, the tell me one thing. Tell me one change and accept the change. I don't know your name. Roshan Abbas, I request you make a change. If you, Mr. Roshan Abbas, sir. if you sir. think people like us who are sitting on the channel and Pinaki Mishra are sitting on the channel, we are those who come across into politics for doing nothing. I'm so sorry about it. You are wrong. And therefore, do not brush all of us. Yes. There is a lot of accountability which needs to be addressed by the politicians. Did you come out and yesterday, sir? Sense, did you come out the BJP and no, Sushma Swaraj? They I had asked for a special session of parliament. It was right. The government should have accepted. And but the not government will accept it. It did but happen. It did happen and everybody went on their Christmas vacation. Honab, you, know the yeah, Mr. Mr. you know the parliamentary system better. Mr. Singh, Mr. Singh. Arnab, you know the parliamentary system better. No, parliamentary system. Parliamentary there system is a response to pressure. The government to accept. Parliamentary system response to pressure. When there was pressure built on the Lokpal. Yes. Then one second. Then you then you cut your vacations last year exactly this time. You had a session on the Lokpal. You were forced to have that session because there was public Arnab, pressure and media scrutiny. It was an uncomfortable moment Arnab, for the government but you had to deal with Arnab. it. So I am saying today, deal with it. Or not deal with know, it. So that, I'm, I'm so that people or are or angry. They are on the street. When, when on the corruption issue, the, country, on the local issue, the BJP also pressurized. Yes, but this time what happened? Accept it. This time what happened? Time, yes. It, it, why do you think? What do you, you think that the BJP has not done? BJP no, I am saying where is the sense? It is not BJP has Congress. Pa all party meeting, we have written to Trust me, Minister, trust me, it's not BJP Congress. Aren't we building pressure for the government to no, accept it's not BJP Congress. You don't Congress. want to accept it because no. today you feel it's a day for the politician bashing. No, one second, one second. That's second. not the way we are One, one second, one second. Let That's me, not going to be the one way sec, one to come out of this situation. One second, please understand. It's a horrific situation please where understand. we are. We Sir. need to address the situation together. Please understand Sir, one thing. Please understand one thing. Let's get the others in also. First, first I want to say here, there's no politician bashing. Fortunately or unfortunately, politicians are the lawmakers. If Roshan Abbas could have Fair changed enough, the laws one that point. If Roshan Abbas or Sobha Deh or Sohail Seth would have been able to change the laws, then trust me, I would have. You would have said I would be doing Roshan Abbas or Sobha Deh or Sohail Seth bashing. But in America, sexual or sex or offenders or are made to go through periodic reviews. Uh, my only point here is yes. that somewhere we don't think this is an urgent issue. Ye chalta hai, or ye hota hai, ye bahut bura hota hai, magar, magar kya kare? Or, 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 or
said in the beginning, no, we all have been speaking no, about no. police reforms, judicial reforms. I have heard about police, police reforms, reform, reform, which is sir, also I have, required. I have heard about police reforms since I was in sir, class. Therefore, I am saying, yes, sir, I have heard about police reforms, political reforms since I was in class. We cannot ignore it. And if we ignore it, it's, it will be to our peril at our cost. We cannot ignore. Sir, here the other side. Let's get in Shobade. We must address that. Let's get in Shobade to all our panelists one by one. Shobade, your response to both. Uh, uh, Pinaki Mishra and Siddharth Nath Singh, what they have said. You know, I'm a little astonished as always at the complete lack of compassion, the lack of sensitivity and uh, the lack of any uh, real perspective here. It's back to a politician playing victim, playing a martyr, talking about political uh, bashing, politician bashing, when it's really about a far, far bigger tragedy. And I'm saying this, that 2013 will be the year of the anonymous Indian. The anonymous Indian who went to Jantar Mantar without an agenda. This was a no agenda gathering of people who felt strongly enough and the rape has been a catalyst, a very, very defining moment in our history. It is a seminal moment and we have to recognize it as There's that. Something, yes. Perhaps the political class imagined that it was just another, another rape. You know, they have shrugged before, they thought they could shrug again and this rape would go away and uh, right. that would be the end of this matter. This rape is not going to go away and we can't understand why this rape has become the, the, the running crime, the running point and the war cry across India but it has. That is the point. Yes. And those who refuse to acknowledge the importance of this moment, those very politicians who were hiding the cowards who hid, they didn't bother to go and meet the people, the protesters. Nothing was done for this girl. It was a face-saving device at the last minute when they know she's critical. She didn't stand a That's chance. True. She was suddenly That's taken true. to Singapore so that Sheila Dixit and would look better, like they were doing something. It was a meaningless, hypocritical sham of a gesture. They knew it was not going to do anything for this girl, apart from perhaps they thought it would cover them with some kind of glory, or at least reduce the shame from their complete indifference and aloofness. And even for a Chidambaram to say, do you think I should go and confront every Nakshalite? Do you think I should no, go out Shinde, there? Shinde, that was Shinde. And that, that, that was Shinde. To politicians? Shinde. Uh, Shinde. Well, they're all the same anyway, whether it's a Chidambaram, Shinde, they're all part of the same lot as far as I'm concerned and their quotes are also, uh, in that sense, can be swapped because they all belong to the same but mindset. I, I, this one occasion has rallied the youth of this country. They are the ones who will push for change, demand change and make sure it happens. Well, I, I, I get a sense, I may be wrong in my observations, that there is a sense of shock among political class. What is going on? This is not the way things are supposed to be done. Let people petition us. We will put it through systems, give it through no. parliament committees, judicial committees, X committee, Y committee. This is the way we've dealt with it for 65 years in India. Why should anybody want to force a change? Now, that's why we are discussing today about whether they have lost touch with the ground reality. Mohan Das Pai, before I come to you, Siddharth Nath Singh, let me tell you one thing, please. I know you raised your hand. I am not doing politician bashing. Trust me. I am not interested if any politician today says today on the program that we will push the government to move an ordinance so that every sex offender walks around with a tag, an electromagnetic tag on their hands where they can be tagged and every 15 days they have to come to a police station where they will be followed, their track record will be checked then I think everybody in the country will applaud such a politician. But the problem is I am not hearing yeah, anything yeah. specific from politicians except Honor. expressions of regret. Siddharth, coming to you, I want to go next to Dr. Sunita Krishnan. Dr. Sunita please, Krishnan please has please been... Allow me to answer that. I'm coming to Honor, you. I'm, but but if if Dr. Sunita Krishnan Honor, first. If I am sitting on the... No, no. If I am sitting on, uh, on your channel today is not because of, you know, I am scared of what the words like political bashing. It, it is because genuinely I feel... I appreciate that. to contribute along with you all. I appreciate so, that. Please, please allow me. I am not, I'm not accusing anyone. But the reason I am here is basically we want to contribute. There is a section of politicians. We do really, sincerely, we would like, like to contribute and along with all of and, you. And let me tell you. the system. Let we me want you. to reach it out. We want to. Yes. We need to address. Yes. We are the only one who yes. can and, change and, the and, law. And, and Siddharth. We must change the law. And Siddharth, the reason we are all here 
here, including myself, the reason we have a special news our panel discussion today, the reason so many people are here today, we want to see the change, you want to contribute, we want to see the change now. We have waited, our entire generation yeah, has waited an opportunity to be The only thing I can so only do is don't buy time. Member, we are, we, yes, are, we, are, we are going to be pushing the right. parliament, the, the government to have a special session. We would like that the government should change the laws. We need to but make okay. women more secure. There are I, I want to related to police reform. No, we no, want no, all no, this no, to happen. No, no. That's the only way we can do it. No. We need to pressurize the women. I, 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 would have, I would have appreciated if the women's, women's union, women minister Krishna Tirath, I think that's her name, would have been on the program today but i want to i want to ask dr sunita krishna she's founder of prajwala an ngo she has been a victim of the worst form of sexual violence herself dr krishna you're joining us from kochi first of all thank you for coming uh, i want to know what you think at this ongoing national debate having been a victim yourself and having come out of it so strongly right now arnab i'm feeling sickened i find this whole damn discussion itself sickening for the last 20 minutes, we've been just bashing each other up, blame games, and a whole lot of, I'm good, I have done this, I want to do this. I think what the whole public today is showing is enough of platitudes, yes, whether great. it is by the media, whether it is by authors, whether it is by filmmakers, or whether it is by the damn politicians. We want action. I was gang raped 25 years back, and for the last 20 years, I've been fighting for fighting against sexual violence, against sex trafficking. I've heard enough of platitudes. Enough is enough. Let's at least make the next 20 minutes discuss about how are we going to straighten things out. We don't want to know who is bad and who is worst. Today the world has shown that we don't care a damn for you all. Very true. What we need is what can we do now? Tomorrow what do we need to start? Because if today violence has reached to such astonishing proportions, all of us are also responsible for it. Our silence, our inaction, our complacence. Who are these politicians, by, way? by the way? We have elected them, which only shows what kind of people, what caliber of people we are making them sit. If a Botsa Satyanarayana from Andhra hmm. Pradesh says, why did that woman climb up in the bus <coughs> yeah. at the night? If a DGP in Andhra Pradesh says, women wear you know, outrageous clothes, that's why they get raped. We need to start questioning ourselves. Where are we today? You know, it, for me, as, as a survivor of rape, as, as a human being, as an activist, at one end, I'm, I'm so energized by the fact that there is at least now an outrage. After 20 years, today I'm seeing India awakening against sexual violence. But I have my own reservations. Whether this is just one more wonderful way to show, you know, like India against corruption, today India against sexual violence. But after the story dies out, Will we still think of all those children, all those women who are getting ev raped every minute by the day? And that is the question I want to ask each of the panelists. Well, Can we think yeah. about what we need to do now? Yeah, well, I think that, I mean, you know, one, two, there are two things. The one thing we, we need to do is to keep a consistent focus on the issue in the media. So that's, that's one point which I would say, the media needs Absolutely. to keep a consistent focus on it and not bury it. Anna. I hope you agree with me on that, Dr. Krishnan, because that is one thing that the media can do. Absolutely. The media, yes, Anna. it's not to be buried in the inside pages. But uh, Mohandas Pai wants but to add... Know, we need Anna. to create yeah. deliverables, Arnab. Yeah, agree. What do we need to keep Anna. alive on? Yeah. You know, Anna. is it stories or do we create deliverables? Anna. Can we create a say an accountability for the political system? Say media will lobby till the sexual offence bill is passed. Media will lobby till each politician hands Absolutely. over at least two of his security guards back to the government, so that women and children in the country have safety. Oh, yes. If the women and children in the country have no safety, no bloody politician deserves safety. Can we decide on those kind of lobbying points and deliver them? Well Can spoken. We of a sex, well sex spoken. Sex and you speak, you speak yeah, on behalf of all of us. Let me tell you, your voice has that much more power because of what you experienced yourself. Dr. Krishnan, I am completely moved and I, I think in every word of yours I would like to express my support. Dr. Mohandas Pai wants to say something. Yeah, yes, Dr. Pai. Anab, Anab, there is a gap between the political class and the citizens because of a very important fact. The urban people make up 
35 percent of the population yeah. but have only 20 percent of the seats in parliament Correct. and 20 percent of seats in the state legislature so the political system does not accept the urban sector at all so they're waiting for you to make a noise and go away like they deal with the rural sector they're a feudal class who have created privileges for themselves they're not representative they're not democratic yes. now the bewilder yeah. the urban sector is fighting back they're asking for better governance and they don't know how to deal with it the solution arnab is very simple we must delineate the state assembly seats and the parliament seats within the overall limit based upon the 2011 elections and that will mean 35% of the seats in India in parliament and in all the states will go to the urban sector. That means all our voices will be heard because if the people don't desert to us in parliament, we are going to go after them. Now there is a gap. So the treating us like yes. rural people, like children, do what you want, we will not be with you, we will just listen, it will go away, it is not going to go away. Absolutely. You have to change this. I think that's very that's well said. I, 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 I think that's a very, very strong <coughs> point. You are saying a representation to the people and the urban rural skew in a, in a changing India. Well spoken there, Dr. Mohandas Pai. You agree with that, Devish yes. Why is there this, you know, you represent the JDU. You accept there is a disconnect, there is a lack of sync. I, I won't really accept that in total. There, there seems to be some logic in what uh, Mr. Mohandas Pai said, but I won't accept that no, in but total. But if there is not a lack and of sync, then why has there been no action? Why do people who have uh, cases against them of rape, why are they given tickets? Why, 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 why 260 candidates? Because your system allows that. We what have saw the change. Your system, system allows system? that. Make a law. Make what system? Agreed, you agreed. That's system. what I'm saying. I make the laws. Um, I'm not sitting here as a politician. I'm sitting here as 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 much as any of those 10,000 people who are there. You have a stake. Have a stake. You yeah, that's it. right. We are for it. We are one of the states. We, we, we brought this cases under fast track. And uh, if you remember, Arnab, uh, uh, a Japanese lady who had gone to Bodh Gaya, she was raped by an auto driver. Within three months, he received capital punishment. He received for life. No, no, no you tell me today. Tell so me we have done our need. What are we doing? Specific, do? Specifically so, speaking. I'll tell you what. Specifically now, speaking, we, we, one, specifically speaking I'll would you say that your party has never given any tickets to anybody who has crimes against women? Who has, who has pending cases of crimes against women? Well, I don't remember anyone being given so, but I won't be so specific, specific on that. Well, issue. challenge me, I won't uh, accept 260 that candidates have been declared that they have crimes against women. 260 candidates. I have statistics for all parties, not specifically for yours. But, but, uh, said, but, but no, out of out of six candidates, I, I am out that. of out of six I, candidates I, who one minute out of six candidates who declared rape charges against them, three are from your state. I am of for Bihar. That means they have declared in their in their election commission. I have rape for charges that. against me. Let the election commission do it. Let the parliament do it. Let us. Let my ruling class or let the political class do it. Bring the laws that there is absolutely no, no everybody problem. Everybody is passing the buck. No, we are not passing the buck. After but do who is going to make these laws? No, once again, getting getting a couple of responses. Yes, uh, so Sohel said wants to say something to you. Let's we are opening up this debate in a couple of minutes. Yes, Sohel. Order. Order. Or now, may I please say something which Dr. Krishnan identified? The only solution today is Times Now, other media, your sister newspaper, Times of India, put down a delivery meter. Yeah. Shame them and name them every day until they A, yeah. call a special session, yeah. until B, they I'm commit to the election care. commission that they won't give nominations to people with uh, sexual criminality. Three, Get Parliament working. Once These once guys once are once ready to work when it's about their salaries and about their goddamn protection. Not about the protection for India and for Indians. Not, it's not going to and work. Unless you name and shame them, these guys will postpone everything that Bonda is Spy, concerned them Spy says and not going to work. political class is just... Bonda Spy says not going to work. I'm Dr. Sunita Krishnan, I'm coming to you. One minute. So that, I just want to complete the first round with everyone. I want to, I want to go to Bachi Karkaria. Bachi not, not going not to work. work. Uh, no, no. Uh, what I want to say is that, you know, what we've seen today is that people are, have must reclaim democracy for themselves. And I think we've got an election coming up in 2014 let's not keep thinking that that public memory is short let every party today say what is going to be their agenda I let it let me let them put it on their plan today and we've got young people out there they are I, not I jaded they cynical old seats. people who are all going to forget about what's happening i think they all need to stand up and reclaim democracy to bottom call ex-commissioner police i have a straight question <laughs> mr call tell me
me what's it? just coming in the next 20 minutes we are going to get very specific but before that i want to ask you doc, uh, 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 mr gautam call is part of the reason why the police is not able to do this job because many of these sex offenders have some form of political patronage i think this is a very you difficult question for me to answer <laughs> because i am being a police officer uh, in the past uh, I have to only see that uh, the case is, is submitted in court and in quick time. Unfortunately, this is not the reality. Even today, let me um, uh, draw the attention of the panelists that uh, only two days back, a government advertisement has come up which is uh, asking uh, citizens to recommend uh, measures to um, protect women and it is only limited to the uh, national capital region. Why not? for the whole country is, is the national capital region so sacred that uh, it requires special attention and the whole of the country can be left to its own fate. Now this is the kind of attitude which uh, the state has this problem that and uh, doing this current discussion uh, and the current discussion uh, is not uh, being focused uh, on the main problem uh, which is how to tackle the whole issue and this whole issue has to be tackled on a countrywide basis. I, I think uh, program I think being that, uh, that seen the, and, and argued. Dr. Call, yes. you see what's happening is I've said this before, you know, I, I, as I thank you for your point of view, the fact is people are doing anger management, they're sorting out the situation, they're trying to appear responsive when the media has picked up the case. Nothing more, nothing more. Dr. Call, thank you very much. I want to go back to Dr. Sunita Krishnan. Dr. Sunita Krishnan, I agree with you. I think we should be very specific today. May I request you as someone who's fought this and most unfortunately faced this. Tell me your three top suggestions which will give immediate benefit to the people which will make young people feel assured when they go out of their homes. What would you suggest Then we'll take a call among our politicians on them? Arnav, I'll start with our panel itself. There are politicians in our panel. Can they go back and check who are the candidates in their party who have got a sexual crime history? Can they submit a memorandum to their leaders to remove them from the party? Very good. The first Should agenda okay. to the panel okay. is let here. Me, let, okay. Very, very good and pointed point. Panel. Yeah, very good. I'll come to number two and three I in a minute, the, Dr. Sunita, but let me get an immediate response. So there are three political parties on our panel. Okay. Um, and by the way, I'd like to welcome Valerian Santos, father of Mumbai Braveheart, Keenan Santos. Thank you very much, Valerian Santos. Your, your son died fighting ape teasers. And today you're seeing this. You know, we haven't forgotten what your son is. We'll fight with you and ensure there's justice in your son's case. But a uh, suggestion made. Dr. Sunita Krishnan says, give a commitment that you... I think who have been nominated by your parties, political parties who face these crimes against women. And you will have to... What was the suggestion, Dr. Krishnan, that you will not put them up in elections? Get them, get them removed. Get them yeah. removed. Send a, give a memorandum so that they can be removed from the party. Okay. Good. Basic membership of the party. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me start with uh, let me start with uh, the BJP first. According to my information, uh, Siddharth Nath Singh. I'm not doing BJP bashing because then I'll do bashing of all political parties. Uh, 24 people got tickets from the BJP out of the 260 who declared that they have been charged, huh, charged with crimes against women. Yeah. Well, yes. on a, uh, so throughout these 24 this is a good people. suggestion. I can hear you. Well, I, I don't know who are these 24 people, but if you have the list, I'm, I'm willing to take it up to my president and uh, express the position that they, these are the people and I am sure the parliamentary board will look into it with the, whatever has happened in last 13-14 days I am sure, I am confident there is a political awakening also hmm. that this cannot continue further and uh, as a BJP member and as a party I, I think we are conscious of this and uh, we oh. would like 
that uh, the record should be straightened. So I will be more we than happy to can spare, you share this uh, list yeah. with me. I will go go to my party president for an appropriate action. We'll get the list of the election commission. Awakening, there is no evidence of the awakening except latitudes up to now. I have been so. No, this is very specific. Have, this is very specific. Yes, but you know, this whole day I have been really quite sickened by every no. politician coming up with a long face and making the, 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 every kind the, of comment. Can I make a little point possible. here? Excuse me. Say that again. Or not, there are uh, there, there are uh, certain cases. I'm not trying to defend or anything, but if somebody has is being charged, uh, if it is genuine, they need to. But be, they you don't know. The party know. Needs they to don't act, know. But there are in pol no, there are political cases I which are being I mean, can, which may not be true. You, you have seen what had happened with Rahul Gandhi's case in the Kanpur. Can so can there are cases like that. Can is, you say that we don't know? I mean. A senior member of your party, how can you no, say no, you don't I'm know sorry, what cases against I, them? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't. Please understand the position where I am in BJP. It is not necessary no, for persons see, like question. No, we put on the mat. The question is, we like to put issues on the mat, and I think Sunita, Dr. Sunita Krishna, put an issue on the mat. And further putting the issue on the mat, 36 I other MLAs in our country, and I'm not going to put the list up. The need, what we need no, to no, do. 36, 36 others. 36 others have declared they have charges of crime against women such as outraging the modesty of a woman. So we have eminent MLAs who have charged with outraged, outraging the modesty of a woman, insulting the modesty of a woman, sexual assault, rape, etc. You can't so get they call the, it? That is why you can't get the... Uh, what do you the, think? You can't get the and, laws made. No? And, and Valeria, Valeria and Santos, whose father of Keenan Santos feels this is part of the problem. Yes, Mr. Santos. Yeah. Because of that only you are not getting certain section amended, the, the laws are not becoming uh, more uh, intense, more, more strict because of such things. When such people are only there, then how can you expect the will to be passed? Okay, now, because they say you know, all 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 don't give us weak defenses on the charges are political. Yeah. Don't let them in. End yeah. of the story. Close the doors. India will not That's lose a large pool of pol political talent, I'm sure. We can live without these people. Yes, Oil. Second suggestion, because I mentioned sexual criminality. Second suggestion is <clears throat> Delhi is not India. India is not Delhi. Every state, yes. every district must have fast track courts. Justice must be that. delivered. I can't wait for the likes of Pradibha Patil and Pradam Mukherjee to find the goddamn time to reject clemency petitions before these guys go to the gallows or whatever kind of punishment. It is a bloody joke in this country that we have to change the Patil, democracy and justice system Pratibha Patil and must ask herself. the justice system to drag on. Pratibha Patil, Patil must ask themselves and, 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 and uh, you know mentions platitudes. Yeah, Pratibha Patil must ask you know herself what she said. She said the Home Ministry didn't yeah, advise I would, me. I would, I yeah. would second yeah. what he is saying. But that's what she that said. Why are laws different everywhere in all but the states? Is, it's ridiculous. And why they are not stricter? Well, I, I have, I have, I have come up three. If we can come up with three concrete examples, I'd say this is our well spent. So first, I think there is agreement. Pinaki, you agree with that as well, right? Keep out all sexual offenders, yeah. charge sexual offenders, rape, charge mm -hmm. politicians, and I'm going to follow this up with all parties. <coughs> Keep them out of the political process. Mm -hmm. You'd also do that in Odisha. Follow it up every evening or not. Follow it up every I, evening. I can't know. Every evening, every week at least I'll follow it up. Yes. Where are the political parties yes. on this? I will. I will follow it. I promise you I will. We will make it a campaign. Pinaki, you support you support Dr. Sudhita Krishna in that. There is, a, there is no question that if the charge of rape, there is no question that such person should be kept out. Period. The only problem, Arnab, and I, I want to be brave enough to point this out, is that a uh, couple of MLAs in Orissa have this charge of outraging the modesty of a woman. Now the reason that's happened, and I know this personally, is because you know when there is a political dharna and there are lady police constables there, so if there is a little bit of pushing and jostling also, immediately the charge that is put against that particular person in a, in a political melee 
is that he is outraged the modesty of a woman. That's not a, you know, it's not being seriously intended. Uh, there is no sexual, uh, uh, you, know, you know, sort of outreach to it. There is no sexual motive to it. No, no, sure. Are you getting, no. You know, there has been a bit of pushing and shoving. No, 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 no. You see, you are trying. No, 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 no. The strongest, the strongest, strongest voice is against what you are saying. Watch, watch, one at a time, one at a time. Show what they first are coming to you, Bachi. One second. I have always said there are no gradations to sexual violence. Yes, show what uh, or not, there is a you gradation. No, Shomadeh is responding to Piraki Mishra. Just you heard. So. You must it's, accept it's it. A, it's a disgraceful but comment. What, what do you mean by a little we, pushing we and shoving? No, no, what's it? Shobade, Shobade to Pinaki Mishra. Shobade is taking on Pinaki Mishra. Yes, Shobade. I am saying I it is I disgraceful. How can you talk about a little pushing and shoving? No, I'm sorry. Please don't interrupt. Has yes, anybody bothered to get into that ahead. bus? The biggest crime this poor girl committed was that she got into the wrong bus. But even those very buses, we know that there is a nexus between those guys who operate those buses and the local politicians. That's why those buses run, a lot of them without a license. So I would say start with scrutinizing that. That's the, that's the basis of the problem. Has anybody, any female politician, any parliamentarian got into any of those overcrowded buses themselves? Do they know what it feels like to be shoved and pushed? And it's yeah. not casual shoving and pushing, even if it is. And I'm what? sorry, it is not acceptable behavior. Not acceptable, Bachi, Bachi as well. Bachi donor to Canada. Canada is trying to is trying to talk about police women being shot when we are talking of every ordinary woman in the most ordinary may act of her may life may facing may some kind of said. threat. For women, it's the end of ordinariness. Yeah. Getting into a bus is a is this difficult. Staying at home is difficult. I mean, what are we talking about? How can this man come up point. and make a statement like this? It, it is just an attitude that what's the big deal? Something every is such one a, second, one second. It's a crime. Every time a woman is pushed, it is what is the big deal? Yeah. I mean, that's the whole point that underlines it. Yeah. Now, everything that has happened up to this this moment of crisis and this flashpoint is that it doesn't matter. Women are objects. I mean, what's the big deal if a woman is shoved? What is the big deal if people are leering at a woman? A threshold, all doing it. Our threshold is very low. Yes, so you know, our threshold, threshold is very low, yes. our and stereotypes I'm are too well entrenched. No, I, 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 I said. No, no, I, 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 I understand. No, I just want to make, make one small point. Think. One second, Vinaki, Mishra. One small point, please. Yes, okay, okay, Shobha, go ahead. May I explain what one I said? One small point, Arnav. He wants to explain what he said. Point, point. Explain what he said. You talked about something. You No, before he explains, you, Arnav, you talked about tagging a, a, a rapist. I, right now, I'm distraught enough, perhaps cynical enough to say that even the people who will supply those tags will probably be substandard tags that someone is going to make a cut on. This is what we have seen in the, in the wake of the terror attacks and even the bulletproof vests that were given to the cops. There was a deal going on even there. So, with that kind of morality, public morality and poor governance, Mr. Mr. Hope Mr. Pinaki Mr. 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 my research... And talk and talk and talk. My research tells me that UP has the maximum number of MLAs who have declared they have charges of crime against them and your state of Orissa along with Bengal are coming a very close second. So, you know, you must consider what you are saying. Uh, there are no gradations of sexual violence. I don't think pushing and shoving women is okay. He's Not talking about police violence. women. He's talking about police women. Pushing and shoving police women. Yeah, I am very, very responsible when I say something. No, no, it's Mr. shameful. I am very responsible when I say something. Sunita Krishnan. Sunita Krishnan, yeah. I want to go back to you. Yeah. Suggestion number two. 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 Yeah. Having a data bank about it, uh, having a directory of it, and system that can have criminals, uh, sex offenders public, where if they move about in a particular neighborhood, red alert could be given that there is a sex offender in the vicinity, be careful. Ah. If the parliamentarians, if all of us can apply our mind and create a sex offenders bill, and get it passed on an emergency basis. Yeah. This is national emergency. Yeah. Lives of women and children yeah. is national emergency. It's a, it's if a, that kind of thing has to be I done. Thing. Arnab, I want to finish my third suggestion also. Please. No, 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 I have no, 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 yeah, please. My third suggestion. Go ahead. My third suggestion is to, to have an accountable criminal justice system. We need to not just have fast track courts. We need to have what does fast mean? How much time? 
will it take to lodge an FIR? Absolutely. Does a victim need to tell her story to an uh, inspector, then to an ACP, then to a DCP, yeah. then to some all godforsaken characters and then finally the FIR is booked? Or can we have a time limit in this much hours or this many minutes, FIR yeah. has to be lodged? In this much time, charge sheets have to be done and if it is not done, those police officers should be suspended or removed or dismissed. Well, Similarly for the judiciary, in this time frame, let us have conviction and the conviction has to be executed also in a time frame. And for God's sake, for sexual offences, there should not be any appeal. No appeal from the session court to the high court to the supreme court and then to the mercy petition. If the session court finds enough proof of sexual violence and sexual offence, then that is it. It should not be appealable and the conviction should be executed immediately. That is so, you know, the first point is so relevant in this case, Dr. Sunita Krishnan, because in this particular case, and I'd like to thank you, but before that, I just want to make a point. The, the victim in this case, her, her testimony had to be recorded twice. And only because Rice. the chief minister and the commissioner were fighting. Rice. The chief minister and the Delhi police commissioner were fighting. That, 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 that young lady could not breathe. And because politicians and policemen are fighting, her testimony is being recorded twice. Imagine the trauma that girl has gone through. And then just put, this, this, this is what we do to victims. So the sensitivity that they have in them. Yeah, and this. Yeah, they don't have that. They are only showing it on the, on television. Whenever such incidents happen, they come out. Yeah, and yeah Sunita, Sunita Krishnan is saying something. Yes, yeah, Sunita Krishnan. about the real India as well. Yes, Miss Miss Krishnan. Dr. Krishnan first because she has to go then I am coming to Sohail uh -huh. and to Shobhade. Yes, Dr. Sunita Krishnan, you were saying something there. You know, these kind of people are as bad as any criminal for re-victimizing and re-traumatizing a victim. What right do they have for a girl whose whole, in, whole organs have failed, she has been brutally gang raped and then they make her repeat her statement twice just because they could not have a common consensus. Shocking. And I just hope today when as we express our anger and protect, you know, our project, our whole thing, we don't end up becoming like them, yeah. fighting among each other and not coming to some conclusion to I, act. I, this is not the time for platitudes. This is the time for action. Thank you, Arnab, for having yes, me on the Dr. show. Dr. Dr. Krishnan, thank you for coming. I, I really must thank you because because the points you've made have touched us all and we will follow it up with you. Uh, yes, we are getting responses from many of our panelists. Sunita Krishnan, thank you very much. Uh, we are getting a lot of responses. We made this debate specific. Yes, Siddharth, quickly please. Then we take a quick round. Yes, Siddharth. Arnab, I, I, am, I, am, I, am, I, am, I am absolutely with uh, Sunita Krishnan, whatever she has said. But I am uh, appalled a little bit when I don't see anybody from the Congress uh, yeah, either the minister or the party yeah, spokesperson not being on the oh, debate because on, yes. they, uh, I don't wish to politicize, but they do they need to be here exactly to take this you because it's the government exactly who has that. faulted. No. They, they have faulted, they need to reply to many questions which even we are asking. No, no, one second. Shobhade is saying something to you. Shobhade is saying something to you. Yes, Shobhade.